today, as I mentioned before, we um, everything we bring up, we try to find uh, a mark or an identification to confirm that we're looking at a ship at the same in the same time frame. Now, our mate on board, Phil, brought up in his catch the first time these two farthings, and. They're very hard to actually determine because they are they are very seriously damaged and they've been worn. But you can make out just enough of the sentinel, which I managed to pick up straight away. I thought it was like a Roman coin. And so we do have enough markings on this particular coin to identify it. And I've done some Google research on it and there are lots of farthings where the sentinel uh, pointing in that direction at that particular time. But when we turn the coin over, there are four distinct marks on the back of the coin. And those four distinct marks are what uh, make a difference because it's allowed me to identify it as this particular farthing, which is uh, from 1831, which fits beautifully into our time frame, and it is of King William. And I now have the full account also of King William, which is wonderful. And so this will also be displayed you know, in the museum. So we've identified this particular coin as 1831, and then we have another coin in here, which has been in um, the ultrasonic to help clean it. And this particular coin is even further damaged than number one. And this coin here, and I don't know whether the cameras are able to pick it up, probably not. The sentinel is actually facing to the left. And it's a rather rare coin and it's 1780, so it's actually an older coin. So from these two farthings, we again, it's an English farthing confirmed and there's a sentinel there facing to the left. Okay. And then when I actually pop it, pop that one back in, when I place this one here on the head of you are then able to exactly identify the four little strokes here and the four strokes there, the shape of the neck here and the shape of the neck there, the shape, you, even though it's damaged and you can't clearly see the head, you can see the outline of the actual bust and it's absolute confirmation. It doesn't have a date at the bottom that's worn away and the other information, but I can make out the L-U-E-S and the, and the four. So that is confirmation again, 1831. This ship was built in 1836. Mm.